storm, professionals meet to exchange ideas after work. They want to generate new business. My name is Viva Petrol. I'm French, as you can probably hear the accent. Uh, and I started my business four years ago. I, I'm the founder of Viva for Network. Viva barely spoke English back then. She left everything behind to conquer the U.S. all by herself. She wanted to work in telemarketing initially, but in the end, networking turned out to be her niche. Hi, Helen. This is Viva Perron. I was calling you about the meeting tomorrow evening, the networking events. That's a roundtable meeting. You get the chance to do two minutes to introduce your business. You meet other entrepreneurs. Viva teaches the magic of networking to small businesses. She's turned her dream into reality. It was not a dream for me to start a business in the U.S. It was just a dream for me to live in the U.S. And actually, I had to find to do the business in order to be able to stay here. Part of her work involves advising small French companies interested in doing business in the U.S., customers who see her as an inspiration. I have a design company here in France. Yes. I'd like to open a shop in Manhattan. Do you want to open the shop here and have someone run it, or do you want to come here yourself? I was able to start focus on career, the specific business for the French people, and now I have the network and I have the team, and we can be a one-stop shop for them. Bieber heads out to look into legal aspects of a trademark for a French customer. So now I have a meeting with a lawyer that I'm working with, and we will speak about a one of the clients. You mentioned about the option that to do the trademark search and for the moment he doesn't want because of the name that he chose, he thinks that there's no need about that. As long as he understands that there's a, a risk involved in not doing the, the trademark search, um, I'm fine with it. Biba brings this kind of buffer zone between French businesses and, and American businesses. I do think that she has kind of a finger on the pulse between uh, America and France. Biba Pedron unveils her networking secrets in Manhattan's trendiest night spots. If there's anyone who would like to volunteer to say how you network, I get a drink. <laughs> okay, and after you get the drink, what do you do? Then I walk around and see who looks friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I arrived here five years ago, I didn't know nothing about networking. I didn't even know the word networking. The funny thing is that now the people call me the connection queen. Thank you. I think that the big difference between France and the U.S. is that here everything is possible and I have the Americans say that the sky is the limit. So you can do whatever you want as long as you're very motivated. It can be, you know, start a business overnight. It can be writing a, a, a book. It can be anywhere, anything you want as long as you're motivated and you can just uh, finish on the top of the, of the screen here in Jennifer.